I'm a big animal lover, so for me, it's it's really been wonderful. I love to see the personalities uh, that these various animals have. Hello. Hello. I have a... <laughs> <laughs> and the differences between one camel and the next, and uh, we've had everything from very ancient-looking oxen to exotic birds that I never knew existed. Uh, to these very, very primitive ants that don't exist at all, that we, we're busy creating ourselves. The tricky thing about doing a movie that takes place in 3000 BC is that, of course, the second you turn on the camera, you have to create the entire world behind the actors. For animals, we had to get horses and oxen, camels, uh, scorpions. We pretty much had every kind of uh, primitive animal you could find. When are you going to get rid of that filthy beast? He doesn't mean anything by it. Horses are faster, but camels are smarter. The addition of, of the camel, of a beautiful white camel, uh, in the film just gave Matthias again just uh, something different and that uh, that extra um, added the, that element of, uh, of of something special and it's very unique you know that here's this Acadian assassin this warrior scorpion king and he's riding on just a beautiful white camel as opposed to a horse I thought that taking the the camel uh, as the rocks ride as he calls it and giving them a personal relationship uh, would be a lot of fun little did I know the camels really don't naturally like people. And in fact, um, it was really the one case in the film where I had to talk to The Rock about the safety issues. Uh, while I can stage these fights so that while they might be risky, there's you know a very reasonable safety element. That was an unpredictable camel. The camel was throwing the wranglers. I mean, uh, out there in the desert as we prepared to shoot the scene, I, and, and when I was speaking to The Rock about it, saying, listen, this camel's wild, I'm not sure you can handle it, you know, we should talk about this, you know. Uh, you know I really had to ask his opinion before I made the decision. Uh, and as I was speaking to him, the camel happened to ride by at that point uh, with a wrangler completely out of control and through the wrangler. And I looked down at the guy, and unfortunately it was sand, so he didn't get hurt too badly. But, as, as uh, we both looked down at the, uh, the camel's latest victim, the rock looked at me and said, don't worry, I can handle the camel, it's cool.